Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs, and today I have episode 30 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday, where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or another demanding editing program, and I show you guys one tip that could be used in everyday editing. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys um, a kind of a picture kind of collage effect that a lot of people have been asking me to do um, since they saw it actually on my uh, Facebook. Now, let me transfer to my Facebook here, and we'll take a look at it. Um, this was done for the chillest girlfriends ever and they approached me and they wanted me to make this kind of collage picture um, of a bunch of chicks smoking and um, so I put this together and it looked really cool and I really liked it and so did you guys so this is going to be how to make this kind of collage effect so let's hop into Photoshop and let's get started so I'm going to go to file new and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay down a 1920 by 1080 with a 300 resolution I'm just going to select OK and then what I want to do is I want to select a more of a darker gray. So I'm going to use uh, just this to um, kind of show where our lines are going to be set down. And I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this lines. And after I lay that down, what I want to do now is I want to select my pen tool. And before I select my pen tool, I want to make sure that I have a thick enough brush. So you guys can use anything ranging from 5 to 7 pixels. Me, personally, I'm going to use 6. And then we want to make sure that this is a white color. You guys can either select kind of a nice neutral white, or you guys can have it really be uh, really white. I'm just going to select more of a neutral white. And then what I want to do is I want to um, take uh, wherever I want to start it at. So let's say I want to start right here. And then what you want to do is you just want to kind of make a line just like so. And then you want to right click, say stroke path and stroke that real quick and now you have your first line now you want to make sure that you guys aren't making it too cluttered or um, you're not making too many pictures because too many pictures in this collage will look really bad um, so you guys want to stick to around maybe 10 pictures is what I think I did uh, I might be wrong but uh, we'll just make it uh, look good however we want so I'm going to make one right here and right click say stroke path and then we will make one going down from here like so and then we'll connect these like that and then you want to make kind of one maybe stretching like more of a straight line but still have it be a little bit crooked uh, we'll take one and we'll be done with this one after we do that alright and then we want to make some just be like so they're they're just kind of more of little pictures than big pictures so we'll do that and then I will make one go like that. Actually, you don't want them to cross like that at the sides of them. So we're just going to do that and say stroke path right there. All right, so we have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine pictures right here, which is going to look pretty cool. What I want to do right before I do anything else is I'm going to right click on the lines and go to blending options. I'm going to lay down a drop shadow with a distance of one the spread to about 10 and then the size to about 20 and this is just going to make kind of a cool effect when the pictures are uh, laying underneath there so let's just import a couple pictures here real quick I just have some girls uh, smoking right here and I'll just import three pictures for this tutorial's purposes and what I want to do is just lay these on in here so we have all these so I'm going to uh, take all of them so I'm going to select on the picture I'm going to hold down shift and select them all and right click and say rasterize layers now what I want to do after this is I'm just going to make these uh, not visible right now and I want to select my first picture that I want to use so let's say we just want to use this one real quick and what I want to do is I'm going to say control T on that image I'm going to hold down shift so I still maintain the aspect ratio and then we want to just throw it on in here into one of these boxes so let's say we want it in this box right here uh, this one that kind of looks that has the four with the kind of slanted line as the front one and I want to now um, make this uh, that picture right there but obviously as you guys see it's not cut out yet and everything like that so what we want to do is we want to select on lines and what we're going to do is select the magic wand tool which is right up here if it's not selected on that maybe it might look like the quick selection tool just hold it down and select magic wand tool now after we do that we want to make sure that we're still selected on lines and then we're going to click in every single box that we don't want the picture to show up in so since I want it to just show up in this one I don't want it to show up right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select it all right here just like so 
and now I was holding down shift right there so if you guys do, didn't do that to make sure you guys are holding down shift and after I have that all selected on the lines I'm going to go back to the picture and I'm just going to hit delete and now it is all popping up in there now what I like to do is I like to uh, decrease the opacity to about 30% I don't know why but I think it looks better you guys can leave it at full uh, opacity if you wanted to so let's make one of these another one uh, visible and we're going to select on this picture right here and let's say I want her to be shown up shown up right there so what we want to do like I said again just go out to lines make sure you select your magic wand tool I want her to show up in this uh, selection right here so I'm going to hold down shift I'm gonna select all the ones I don't want her to pop up in that she is in I'm going to go back to her picture and hit delete control D to deselect and then I'm going to decrease the opacity again by 30 percent so I'm just going to do it real quick with this one as well again uh, we will put her right I'm going to hit control T hold shift to maintain your aspect ratio and we're going to throw her on in right there alright like so and then I want to hit lines magic wand tool select all the ones I don't want her in go back to her picture delete control D and down to 30 percent again so guys, that's how you guys can make kind of this uh, collage effect with it looking really nice. And it looks really nice. And me personally, I love it having the 30% opacity with the drop shadow going over them. It really makes it look really cool and it just kind of gives um, a really nice look to it. So guys, if you guys did like this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and keeps these tutorials coming. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, please drop them in the comment sections below. And until next time, guys, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs and I'm signing out. Renome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Words and taste makers, makers, no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle man.